516th Contact Monday, 14th March, 2011 This is an excerpt of the Contact Conversation published in Figu Special Bulletin No. 61, May 2011. Billy says, but now I have another question you no longer make any predictions because they are completely pointless and the earth human beings do not listen to them, rather they proceed in the traditional contexts with all evils, and thereby trigger more and more catastrophes. A serious sea quake of the strength of nine has now occurred in Japan and at Sunmi which has arisen from that has caused a giant catastrophe whereby entire villages and towns were simply washed away and everything was raised to the ground. Various atomic reactors have thereby also been involved whereby it is unavoidable that atomic radiation is discharged, that it contaminates much, also human beings, and will cost the lives of human beings. Also thereby the fear is that the radiation is caused to drift a great distance and also contaminates land, plants and living things far beyond the death zones. The radiation can reach not only far into the north and south of Japan, rather also to China and across the Pacific to the USA, and finally, depending on the wind conditions, also right around the world. And there is certainly no question that again thousands of human beings have lost their lives because nothing else is possible consistent with the primeval devastation which that Sunmi has caused. That only a few dozen, or several hundred, human beings were killed, as is asserted, certainly does not correspond to the truth. My question in regard to that is whether I am correct with these assumptions and also thereby, that many more human beings will be killed or become sick with cancer and lose their lives as a result of the nuclear radiation? I would also like to know what you have to say in regard to the safety of atomic power plants and atomic reactors as they are built and operated here on the earth. You did already say around 25 years ago in a private conversation, when the Chernobyl disaster occurred, that there is no effective safety for such atomic energy generation facilities, and that the human beings of earth also could never create such atomic facilities in this respect, which could provide absolute safety. Also to say is that our geologists and all those who concern themselves with sea quakes and earthquakes still continue to make no distinction between sea quakes and earthquakes, although these are two different forms of quakes. Can you just say something in a simple language which is understandable for me and also all other laypersons? Patar says that which you say corresponds to reality. Sea quakes give rise to faults in the ocean floor and movements of water which form into simple or manifold tsunamis and evoke much worse destruction than earthquakes, which are geared towards mere destructions caused by tremors, fissures in the earth and superficial cracks and by the ground shifting. Sea quakes therefore correspond to a completely different form than earthquakes. Florana and Eniana have taken the trouble to clarify, on site at the affected areas in Japan, that which has occurred concerning the human beings who have lost their lives there are many thousands who were beyond saving, buried under mud and rubble, or were pulled out into the ocean with the retreating masses of water. It is too late to save them, aside from a few. And what there is to say about that which you say, in regard to the atomic power plants, is that right from the beginning when the first power plant of this kind was built, no safety at all was provided and it was completely irresponsibly dealt with. There can never be absolute safety provided for atomic power plants, as we know from our own experience when our forefathers used the same unsafe technology for obtaining energy, whereby it was very much more developed than is the case with the current terrestrial atomic technology. Such atomic power plants, often with several reactors, were operated until an unparalleled nuclear disaster occurred worldwide, when, as a result of malfunctions resulting from unexpected, external, cosmic influences, a great number of reactors burst, which claimed the lives of more than 48 million human beings. Something on the same, or similar, scale can also happen on the Earth because atomic reactors can never be so controlled that no accident or mishap can occur. There are, in fact, sooner or later, always influences which lead to a smaller or greater catastrophe. 
If nothing of the kind happens then one can talk of pure luck. With our forefathers, a new energy obtaining technology, which could absolutely guarantee safety, was only created after a worldwide catastrophe was caused by bursting atomic reactors as a result of which gigantic areas were contaminated with nuclear radiation for a very long time. In regard to an atomic power plant technology which could prevent all disturbance of any dangerous kind from coming about as a result of any influences, there is no guarantee, because too many factors exist in this relationship, meaning that a destructive malfunction, and thereby a catastrophe, can arise. The greatest danger of all is formed by unpredictable human failures in regard to careless technical faults as well as cosmic influences, as with dangerous destructive radiations which issue from the solar structures. Meteorites are also factors which can trigger a destruction of nuclear power plants and their atomic reactors. Therefore not only earthquakes and sea quakes have to be taken into consideration, rather also the named possibilities as well as faulty functions of facilities and also incalculable harmful consequences as a result of the nuclear fuel itself, which, above all, means a constant danger, as do its waste products. All this, along with cooling agents which can fail as a result of certain chemical changes to the in flux is one, a fact which is still completely unknown to the operators and specialists of terrestrial atomic energy. Even when water is used for cooling, it can lose its consistency and become steam, which develops a monstrous explosive power, as can also be the case with pure chemical coolants. Even the best cooling systems provide no absolute safety for cooling the fuel elements if an accident happens. But there are also yet other dangerous factors, which are not borne in mind because these are not known to the atomic physicists, and so forth, because they simply do not think far enough and do not search for other forms of causes which contain dangers. So, therefore, something unpleasant, dangerous and destructive, and even a catastrophe, can always happen unexpectedly. And even if the state of atomic technology on the Earth were much higher, that would change nothing regarding the danger of atomic power plants and their atomic reactors because they are unpredictable in one way or another in regard to many kinds of things, which would still not be recognized in regard to terrestrial nuclear technology. And the danger does not only consist of that because the greatest danger exists in the fact that radioactivity is emitted and spreads out and contaminates very much over a very long time and even over hundreds of thousands of years and many millions of years, and indeed regardless of whether the radiation contaminates everything in small or big amounts. It is fundamentally irresponsible to obtain energy by means of nuclear power plants. Consequently they must be strictly forbidden. And that does not only concern atomic power plants in the large context as in the obtaining of electric energy for the population, rather it also concerns small nuclear power plants with atomic reactors as, for example, in submarines, and so forth. Billy says that is clearly said, but in their atomic power energy delusion, the Earthlings already have hundreds of atomic power plants and atomic reactors built and operating worldwide, and were these now suddenly brought to a standstill, then there would be a worldwide, drastic energy shortage. In fact there are far too few power plants which are operated by renewable energies for the whole energy requirement to be the met thereby. Therefore, other power plants must first be created and built, with which all the atomic power plants can be replaced. But that will take a long time yet, because the relevant scientists and specialists are too stupid to develop energy power plants which are absolutely free of harmful chemicals, as well as being completely safe, as your forefathers also did in regard to thermal power plants, as I once learned from your daughter Semiaza. She explained that heat was tapped deep in the interior of the planet and, with it gigantic thermal power plants were operated by means of which all energy requirements on your planets could be met, before further energy-producing technologies were developed which were free of harmful substances. 
no dangerous waste products of any kind thereby arouse and there were no worst possible case scenarios and super worst possible case scenarios, as became evident with your earlier atomic power plants in which also inevitably occur again and again here on the earth with the atomic power plants. This, along with smaller atomic power plant accidents, which are kept secret from the public which is only informed when a greater catastrophe happens, as it now does in Japan and years ago in Chernobyl. And if an accident happens, that is to say, a mishap, or, an atomic power plant catastrophe, then the population is thoroughly lied to by the atomic power plant authorities and by the governments. Along with that, it is also at these moments when the governments worldwide make great speeches, arrogantly open their mouths with great claims and hypocrisy and scream, and so on, for the examination of the risks, for safety measures and for bringing the atomic power plant to a standstill. But they do this, on one hand, only out of cowardly anxiety, but on the other hand, cunningly, meanly and sanctimoniously, also in order to win points from the people for the next election, because they hope to again be voted into office. It has always been the case that each mishap, every accident and each catastrophe has been used and dissected by certain governments and economic bosses as well as by businesses, and generally by many human beings, for their own benefit and profit, and indeed effectively in the sense that, since time immemorial when it brings personal advantage, graves are walked over without any conscience. And, naturally, the people howl with these wolves after which everything is then quickly forgotten when the catastrophe has passed and all evils have abated and personal profit has been drawn from it. Thus, they further muddle about in the old contexts and style, exactly as it always has been. Precisely thereby is it proven that all the slimy, arrogant verbalizing of the particular governing people is null and void and was nothing but lies. And those among the governing ones and the people who are against the use of nuclear technology in regard to atomic power plants of all kinds and against atomic weapons, and so forth, are simply shouted down or are sent packing by the atomic supporters, so that they can no longer be a disturbance with their justified concerns. Not only the operators of the atomic power plants and many of the governing ones who scream for atomic power plants belong to the atomic energy lobby, rather also many of the people, who truly have no idea about the dangers of atomic technology. And thus all those mentioned do not know, that, for example, when the sun suddenly goes crazy and hurls monstrous radiations to earth, all electrical apparatuses, devices, generators, pumps and machines, and so forth, suddenly break down and the cooling of the atomic reactors can be paralyzed. And if something like that happens then a worldwide nuclear catastrophe comes about, when the atomic reactors blow up. One can certainly assume that, with the atomic power plants, the reactors cooling systems have their own energy supply, Yet these can also break down as a result of the sun's monstrous radiation as you once said. Patar says that is in fact possible. Billy says neither the atomic power plant operators nor the atomic physicists or the governing ones think of that and neither do the people. Patar says that is in fact the case, and, in their ignorance, in their irresponsibility and in their arrogant claims, they contest absolutely all the named possibilities by means of which small and big catastrophes can be triggered if atomic reactors explode and atomically contaminate large areas for a very long time. That was the case in Chernobyl as you said, and so it will also be in Japan. And if all atomic power plants worldwide, with their atomic reactors, are not put out of operation and dismantled, then it is only a question of time before a big and worldwide atomic catastrophe breaks out over the earth and the terrestrial humanity, which can then cost millions of human lives. Billy says they are playing with fire, like ignorant children who have not yet burnt their fingers on the fire. Patar says, Yes, one can word it in such a way, and use it as a comparison. The End